So you are welcome to uh, our next segment. Um, so here I'm just going to do a couple of examples. Uh, I'm going to solve these two uh, examples here. You want to write the leading numbers, okay, in the standard form, a plus b i. So you want to simplify this and put it in this form. And then you guys will try this. Try to show that if I expand this, I can write it in the standard form this. And let me know whether you, um, you got it or not. Okay? Now, so let's start with this uh, solution. Um, I have I have two i cubed negative three i squared plus five i. Okay. Now i cubed is the same as i squared times i, but i squared is negative one. So basically, this is negative two i. Okay. So this is minus two i. I squared is negative 1, this is negative here, so that becomes plus 3, and this is plus 5i. Okay, so that is equal to, alright, the real the real part is just 3, the imaginary part will be negative 2i plus 5i, that will be 3i, so plus 3i. So we have put it in the standard form. That is easy, straightforward. Okay, what of this one? I, I, I. Now, here there are a couple of ways you could do it, right? You can, you can try to expand this, square this, and square the denominator as well, and manipulate the resulting expression. But that's going to be very long, you can try it. Uh, I think the easiest way is that try to simplify this first. Put this in a standard form first, then square it, after that you multiply the result by this. Okay? So let's try to deal with what is in the bracket here. So here I have 2 minus i all over 1 plus 2i. Again, when you have fractions here in co with complex numbers, what you try to do is to simplify it, to multiply the denominator by the conjugate. So I'm going to multiply the top by the conjugate. So 2 minus i multiplied by 1 minus the conjugate of this is 1 minus 2i. Okay? And then do the same thing here. 1 plus 2i. And the conjugate of this one is 1, 1 minus 2i. Okay? So that gives me, so let's expand this. This is 2, this is negative 4i, this and this gives me negative i. Okay? This and this, okay, be careful here. The negative is even positive, but i and i is i squared, that's negative. So this becomes negative 2. Okay? All over, let's expand this. I have 1, negative 2i, positive 2i, this and this, note again, this and this will give me a minus here, but i squared will give me another minus, that becomes positive, so this becomes plus 4, okay? That becomes plus 4, so you have to be careful here. So what does this give us? This is a 2, this is a negative 2, so that cancels out. This and this is negative 5i, okay, all over, this and this cancels out, so 1 plus 4 is just 5, 5 cancels 5, right, so I'm just getting negative 5. So if you expand what is in the bracket here, all you get is negative 5, okay, so you will square that and then multiply by this. So this implies that 2 plus 3i multiplied by 2 minus i all over 1 plus 2i all squared will just be equal to 2 plus 3i multiplied by what is in here is negative i which I need to square. Okay? Now this is equal to looks negative uh, 1 squared is positive but i squared is negative, so this gives us a negative 1. So this is just minus 2 plus 3i, right? And finally, this is negative 2 minus 3i. So you have to put it in the standard form. Real part is negative 2, imaginary part is negative 3. Alright? So try this one, and let me see how, how you do that. If you are having challenges, let me, uh, let me, uh, let me know. Okay? So that will be for um, 
these examples. Now, the next thing I will do before we do another set of examples is to uh, prove some propositions. Okay? We want to look at a few um, propositions basically on, um, on the um, on the conjugate of complex numbers. Okay? So here, uh, we'll prove a, a few of this proposition. We'll prove a few of this. So if uh, Z1 and Z2 are complex numbers, then number 1, Z1 plus Z2, the conjugate of this is equal to Z1 conjugate plus Z2 conjugate. Number two, uh, Z1 minus Z2 conjugate. You can show that this is the conjugate of this minus the conjugate of this. Number three, the conjugate of the product is the pro product of the conjugates. Okay? And then number four, Z1, Z2 conjugate conjugate of this z1 over z2 is equal to z1 the conjugate of z1 divided by the conjugate of z2 all right uh, five i think there's a safe point you can take a look the conjugate of the conjugate is just equal to z and then the last one says that the last proposition says that um, Z number six says the real part of a complex number can be written as Z Z bar all over two and the imaginary part of a complex number can be written as Z okay minus Z bar divided by two i. Okay. So these are uh, interesting properties of complex numbers that we'll be using. Okay, uh, you can try some of them. There are a few of the proofs in there, uh, in your notes as well, which you can take a look at. Okay, so we will do a few of them and then uh, maybe do an example also. All right. So I mean, the idea is uh, not different from how we proved the other properties of complex numbers. So let's let's do. Uh, some of these here. Yeah. So for the first one, again you can just let your z1 be equal to a plus b i and let z2 be equal to c plus b i. Where again a b, c and b are array. That's the definition of um, complex numbers. Alright? Then z plus z2, I'm going to move from here to there. Z plus 2 will be A plus C and then B plus B I. Then I'm going to take the conjugate of this and show that um, the conjugate is equal to the right hand side. So this implies Z2, Z1 plus Z2. Conjugate has to be equal to, note that we are taking the conjugate. This is the real part, it's the imaginary, I just negate this. So I have A plus C minus B plus C I. And this you can rewrite as, note I can write this as A minus B I. See that? Plus C minus B I. Okay? But A minus B I is the conjugate of Z1. And C minus Z I is the conjugate of Z2. So this is basically equal to Z1 conjugate plus Z2 conjugate. Alright? So often this is the procedure and approach you use to, um, to prove properties of, uh, of complex, complex numbers. Okay? Um, you can try, you can try other ones. You can try the, uh, the two. I think these ones are in your notes. This is straightforward. Let's we can do five and six. We have um, we have 
if, if I have a complex number, so five, six, five, five says that the, if I take the conjugate of the conjugate and just get z, which is easy to see, so it just become like z equal to a plus b. And again, where a and b are real numbers, then of course the conjugate of z will be a minus b i, right? Then if I take the conjugate again, I have to negate that, so that is, becomes plus b i. But a plus b i is z. So this is just equal to z. So that's, that's uh, easy to prove. Okay? We can prove 6 as well. Okay? 6 is also straightforward to prove. Um, I have, so 6. We can do the same thing. I can let z be equal to a plus b i, which implies the conjugate of z is a minus b i. Okay, if I add them, z plus z bar will be equal to this plus a plus a is 2a. This is positive, this is negative, they cancel out. Okay, if I divide through by 2, then I'm going to have a is equal to z plus b bar divided by 2. Okay, and a is the real part of z, which means the real part of z is actually equal to z plus b bar all over 2, which is what we have here. Okay, so the real part of the complex number is given by that. Uh, you can do the same thing to prove the imaginary part as well, right? So let's, let's prove that one too. Um, it should be good. All right, so here, um, for the imaginary part, ah, let me do this. For the imaginary part, we want to show that, we want to show that, uh, what is it? Um, the imaginary part of z, which I just, is z minus z bar. So we said, we want to show, we want to show that the imaginary part of z is z minus z bar. Right? What about two are? Yes. Okay. So you have that. So you can do the same thing here. So now you take z minus z bar. Okay? So that should give us what? Z minus b. Z bar is equal to this one as this cancels out. This one as this this adds, right? That is 2bi. So that is 2bi. So I can divide 2 by 2i. And I get b. b will be equal to z minus z minus z by 1 over 2 1 over 2i. Alright? But b again is the imaginary part of the complex number, right? b is the imaginary part of z. So you can conclude that the imaginary part of z is given by z minus z by 1 over 2i. Okay? So try to prove the, um, the other properties you have the proofs of uh, most of them in your notes. So go through them if you don't understand them, let me know. Okay, and I'm coming, um, I can help you out. So I will end this lecture here. Uh, the next time I come your way, we'll be dealing with um, equality of complex numbers. Uh, perhaps I should just briefly touch on that. Um, no, let's do that next time, all right? So next time when, uh, when I come your way, we look at what do you mean by um, two complex numbers being equal, and then from there we'll go on to look at the Agam diagram and other things. Alright, so all the best, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, bye.